little bit of R&D today. Um, this isn't the kind of thing I usually do videos on, or rather, when I did do videos on it, it usually only went on my Patreon, but I've recently deleted my Patreon, so we're gonna do it here. Um, what I'm trying to do is I've been interested in trying some bookbinding for quite a while. I've never done bookbinding, it looks really interesting. Um, I'd like to have a pocket notebook, but I just can't bring myself to pay the prices that people want for pocket notebooks. And uh, I think I can make a, a, a good quality one for pretty cheap. But on top of that, I would also like it to be right in the rain for no other purpose than I wanna see if I can make one. So, you know, I'm not likely to be writing in the rain, uh, but either way, I would like to try it. So um, I, I'm trying to see if I can make my own right in the rain paper. So I've, what I've done is this is some regular sketch paper, like out of one of those um, big sketch books. Not like a bound sketchbook, but you know, the kind of you can just rip pages out of. And uh, I cut down some pieces and I've sprayed them down with various different clear coats. And I wanna see if that'll do the trick. Um, so these are all labeled. Uh, this is a clear matte finish, a clear gloss finish, a uh, shellac finish, and this is a polyurethane finish. And I wanna see if any of these have the desired effect. So we're gonna test them to see if they're waterproof. We're gonna test them to see if you, um, also I, what I hope is that when you write in pencil, I'm hoping because pencil has a tendency to wreck your uh, pages and not erase particularly well. I wanna see if you can just like lick a thumb or something and wipe it off. Um, I think that would be uh, useful. I don't want it to erase too easily, but I want to be able to erase it easily if I need to. So we're gonna try a few tests and see what works out. Um, as you can see, the clear matte finish induced a lot of page curl. Um, I don't know why that is. Must, it must shrink a little bit when it dries. The rest of them remained relatively flat, so hopefully one of these uh, it will, will be a viable option. And if this is the only viable option, we'll have to figure out a way to keep it flat. Um, it might be as simple as just coating both sides. These are only coated on one side right now. And then we're gonna run them under some water, see if they actually do seem uh, relatively waterproof, and uh, we'll move on from there. So real quick, we're gonna try Sharpie, um, just regular old you know, number two pencil, and uh, you know a Bic round body, you know, just regular old Bic pen, uh, if this thing even works. Uh, if not, I have some other ones around here somewhere. But uh, I figure these are gonna be the most likely things people are gonna be writing on. Um, these with and I want to see one if the pen seems to work well on the surface and uh, two if any of them are in fact erasable See this one actually feels the best So this one has the best page feel to it, which really surprises me. I would have thought the gloss finish would be the worst. This one still has like a really good texture, whereas these ones are a little bit, oddly enough, the gloss finish is the one with the least glossy texture. I wonder if the gloss finish didn't work that well. I can see it on there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is a really, really old gloss finish too. Um, I've had this for, I don't know. I've had this for as long as I can remember. And I don't remember buying it. Um, I don't remember when it was purchased or why it was purchased. I don't know if they put a date on these. I don't know. Um, so it may be that maybe that was spraying out mostly air. We'll find out. And uh, this is a Sharpie, even if it has the <laughs> the long nose on it. Um, this is actually the tip to a, a fast cap long nose pattern marker, which I got sick of um, them running out and uh, having to buy $8 pens. Uh, so now I just shove the tip onto uh, a Sharpie, which works really well. So, hey, fast cap, stop selling long nose pattern markers and start selling Sharpie tips. And, uh, you know, feel free to send me big fat checks. Uh, I won't break my heart at all. Filthy bedpan. And, uh, pickled uh, asparagus jar. I'm actually have an experiment planned for the channel involving these later. Um, let's see if any of these are indeed waterproof. Okay, not even remotely waterproof. This is the clear matte. Actually, it's not seeping through. But it's also not beating off. Well, you know what? Hold on, um, I'm kind of paper on. I would like it to beat off, but this might be acceptable. Let's 
see it's starting to curl because it's getting wet on the back here where it wasn't coated as well. But hmm, okay, so that actually didn't wreck the paper at all. Um, it is dry. It's just I think the matte finish holds on to the water. That's interesting. Okay, I want to see if how it affects the materials on there. Okay, else? Okay, none of them seem to wipe off, which is good and bad. Um, I would like them to not wipe off exactly, but I would like them to maybe be able to to be wiped off if you tried hard enough. This is the shellac. I don't suspect, or expect this to work that well, just because it's shellac. You can see here, there's a drop that was sitting there for a while, and that's clearly soaked in. Yeah, that's that's just wet paper underneath there. But that might be underneath. It actually, it's holding the water on the surface less than the clear mat, but it does eventually soak through. So that's. No, no good. Try the poly. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about for waterproof. Okay, that's just coming right off. Let's see. We can wipe the ink off. Oh, you know what? Okay, it's not coming right off, which is good. We don't want it to come right off. But the pencil does appear to, to wipe off. And if that's the only one that would wipe off, that would be fine. That's the one I think I'm most likely to be using on here, but let me just try to look fast. Uh, if I wipe really hard, it gets through the surface. But that might be resolved. Um, when I coat both sides. But that did actually erase the, the pencil relatively well. Not perfectly, but okay, that's a maybe. And this will require further testing for that one. And let's try the clear gloss. Okay, the clear gloss worked probably the best, which makes sense. Oh wait. Through, but I don't think this had the best coverage. I don't think that was spraying out all the way. What I might do is pick up another. So the first pour, this one did the best, but subsequent pours, it soaked through and probably did the worst. Um, furthermore, let's try the, the pencil. Yeah, that's just abrading the surface. Um, okay, so we have some data points. Clear matte actually did really well, even though it held the water on the surface, you were able to dry it off. Um, let's see what happens when we kind of rub on like we do with these other ones. Yeah, almost nothing. So being able to erase is not a huge uh, problem. You can always use an eraser. The problem with an eraser is that erasers are abrasive, um, unless you get non-abrasive erasers. So you can use a regular pencil eraser on this and it'll erase about as well as it does on paper, but you'll be you know, wearing through the surface, which maybe isn't a huge deal. I don't know. Um, but we are gonna test, that was just a down or failed, the, the shellac. Um, uh, I think I might try a new can of clear gloss. I might run over to the store and get a new can of clear gloss. Um, I'd like to try this one, uh, the polyurethane and the clear matte have um, probably the best result up until I really start, uh, you know, rubbing on them. The clear matte, I think, is, is currently the winner, but we're going to test these three again um, with both sides coated, and we're just going to test with pencil at that point. Okay, we're on to round two. So... I got some new paper. I got some uh, new clear spray paint, or you know, new clear finish. 
and uh, I strung up a line over here. So rather than just letting these dry on the table, I'm going to spray them and hang them and see if maybe that helps with the curl we got from the mat. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm going to spray them and everything while hanging and I'm going to spray both sides this time. Uh, so once again, I'm going to label these. So we have the poly clear matte, the clear gloss, and just for giggles, we'll do the shellac again on both sides. Oops, not an eight. Yes. Okay. And uh, we'll see how we go this time. these are all dry. Let's say hanging them did seem to make a pretty good difference. So they're all fairly transparent. I think more so than they used to be. Um, which isn't a deal breaker exactly. I may have to start with some heavier paper, um, which I have. So that's, that's not necessarily a problem. Um, I care about the transparency because I don't necessarily want everything on the page behind to show through. Of course, it'll be lighter than a big Sharpie, too, so it's maybe not as big a deal. Um, either way, let's see how the, the waterproof test. Again, the clear gloss. Like, that one surprises me. That one writes the best. Like, it's crisper. The lines are crisper. And, I don't know, it just feels better. I'm leaning towards the gloss. Um, let's see about the waterproof. Now I'm not looking for this stuff to last through like submersion or anything, but oh, you know what? I just realized I wrote that all above where I sprayed. So it's right okay, let's see what we got. Pour it over the pencil. dries right off. Again, the mat seems to hold the water a little bit. You see how it's causing curl? It's interesting because it doesn't appear to be soaking in, but at the same time it's it's causing the page to curl, so it's not bleeding through. But I don't really want that curl in there either. Try the poly. I have high hopes for the poly. Nope. Loads of curl. And maybe I didn't coat these very well. I thought I did. Clear gloss, hoping for clear gloss here. Still curling, but the beading is better than the other ones. Or maybe similar to the, the other one. Maybe similar to the poly. Let's try the shellac. I don't really suspect this one will work all that well. Yeah, all of them curl as soon as they get wet, which is interesting. It's a result. This one, like it's already soaking into the paper. Okay, so shellac is out. I'm not going to use shellac. The clear mat. Seems to have held up better than the poly. The poly is actually like wet here. Like, and I, I know I sprayed that pretty well. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. That's really surprising now. I thought poly would have held up more than that. This one held up okay, but not wonderfully. 
And the uh, clear gloss is actually pretty good. It's not perfect, but like where the water is really set for a long time, there's some, um, it like, I don't know, raise the grain for lack of a better term, but it's not nearly like the, the paper is still sturdy and it's not like wet and soft and squishy. So I'm leaning towards the clear gloss. And I'm betting once this dries out, you'll never know it was there. And this was only with one thin coat on the front and back. Um, so I'm betting if I did two coats front and back, like you can see, this was me pouring water all over it. That is above where I treated. So one little drop of water here and that water is completely soaked in and here. Again, perfectly good, strong uh, paper, just with a little bit of, it's a little you know, lumpy. <laughs> um, but we might be able to cure that with another coat. I think that's what we're gonna do. In fact, I think I, I like this result enough that I might coat a bunch of paper this way. Clear gloss, I think, is our clear winner. That's, that lasted surprisingly well compared to the other ones. Um, and again, I think uh, another thin coat. So I'll do two coats um, per sheet, and I think we have our solution. So after these all dried back out, the uh, clear gloss still is the one that seemed to return both or, you know, back to normal for the most part. That was me smudging it around. Um, it's still got a little bit of the bumpy texture to it, but again, that was only one coat. So this was the clear winner in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat a bunch of sheets. This is just regular old sketch paper, um, like out of one of these big books. This is not really nice stuff. Um, it's just, you know, fairly heavyweight paper. Um, it's just what I happen to have on hand. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to hang up a bunch of these. I'm going to spray them all. I'm going to wait about an hour, um, maybe a little bit longer uh, for them to dry completely. And then I'm going to give them a second coat. And then that's what I'm going to use to uh, chop down and uh, do my book finding. All right, there we go. We have, what are you, eight sheets of reasonably it's a weird texture to it now um, I think reasonably waterproof paper I'm gonna give it one last test um, I had all of these sheets after I took them down from hanging um, wedged in between here then I had this big piece of plywood uh, down there on top of that and then I had an anvil sitting on top of that just to make sure everything pressed nice and flat and it's been like that well overnight so I'm gonna do one last test oh yeah that just beads right off Very nice. So that was with um, two coats. There we go. That's still perfectly good, usable and writable paper. You can see it does add a little bit of texture to it when it gets wet even still, um, but it doesn't seem to affect it detrimentally. So um, here, I'll do a control so you can see what this would do to, to the paper normally. We'll use some of this water and see it's soaking in. Like that's with no, um, you know, protection at all. Like it's just mush. So calling that a success. Uh, till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, look forward to a bookbinding video where I use this paper. Uh, that'll be an actual stitched bookbinding uh, project. Even though it'll be a small book, which normally you wouldn't stitch, uh, I'm going to just because I've always wanted to try doing a Coptic sti stitched book. Um, so I don't know. Till next time, talk to you later, guys.